in this video, I'll show you how I made a smart planner for my daughter. I used the Electrow Crow Panel 4.2 inch e-paper display and designed the screen with Squareline Studio and LVGL. It shows her class timetable and highlights the next day automatically to give a clear visual reminder. Um, it also has a calendar that gets public holidays from Google Calendar and shows them. I'm planning to add more features later like weather, moon data, and more. There's also a task screen that gets tasks from Google Tasks and displays them. I've added a reader screen too, which shows short stories and other content. The home screen shows the current date and time. I'm planning to add a temperature and humidity sensor along with weather updates using an API in the future. Electrow also sent me their 5.79 inch e-paper display. In the next video, I'll show you another interesting project using this board. If anyone knows how to do partial updates with LVGL on e-paper, feel free to share. I tried figuring it out, but it didn't work well. You can find all the board details on Electro's product and wiki pages. I used the demo files they provided to set up LVGL for the project. Also, I recommend checking out videos by Makers Fun and FBEgo. You can download the OBP file from my GitHub. After installing it, open Squareline Studio and select LVGL version 9.2. Then you'll see the Electro Crow Panel ePaper Display option available. I've already created a screen for each page. For the home screen, I made a static background and added labels to show the time and date. I used Photo-P to create the background and all the UI elements. For the background, my daughter had drawn some images in Lopaka a while ago. I took a screenshot of that and placed it in Photo-P. Since this e-paper display supports only two colors, I added a threshold layer on top in the Layers panel and carefully drew over it without scribbling all over her masterpiece. Using the pen tool, I drew the other elements like clouds and icons to match the style of the background. I designed the class timetable screen the same way. The only dynamic element here is the day highlight, which updates automatically based on the current day. For the tasks, I created a panel and placed label widgets inside it. The tasks are fetched from Google Tasks, the JSON is parsed, and the results are shown in the labels. It displays the latest four tasks from Google Tasks. I created a Google script to fetch the tasks and output them as a JSON file. Then I deployed it as a web app to access it from the device. In the same way, I created another Google script to fetch public holidays from Google Calendar and return them as a JSON file. For the calendar screen, I placed all the widgets inside a panel and duplicated them for each day. The data is updated based on the information from Google Calendar. I also plan to add moon phase and weather updates later. Uh, the reader screen is a simple text area. I'm planning to update it either through a web server or by using Telegram. Once everything looks good, go to export and create a template project. Copy the exported template project and rename it like this. The lib folder includes all the display and LVGL driver files needed for the project. Open the folder in VS Code and Platform.io will initialize the project automatically. Make sure the LV color depth is set to 1 in the LVGL config file. Uh, 
Then, open the UI.C file and comment out the check that requires 16-bit color depth for compatibility. Next, go to the Images folder and change the color format of the images to RGB 565. If any image needs transparency, set the format to RGB 565A8. Once everything is done, build and upload the code to your device. The UI is ready, and I've added the functionalities to make everything work smoothly. You can find the code in the description. If you like this video, consider supporting.